A whopping number of Americans are using statin drugs to lower cholesterol, and experts say it's working, as the worst form of cholesterol is dropping. But unexpected data is capturing the interest of cancer specialists. These drugs have become more interesting to oncologists because not only are they known to inhibit or block that cholesterol pathway, but they're also um, likely involved in something called signal transduction, which is the way cells communicate. Research suggests statins may influence the ability of cancer cells to multiply and migrate through the body, which could stop it from metastasizing. Cancer cells can give signals that lead to growth or spread. These cholesterol-lowering drugs, specifically they're called HMG-CoA reductase, um, they can apparently block some of these signals. A study from Denmark is causing the excitement. After following nearly 300,000 people for a number of years, it found patients who took statins were about 15 percent less likely to die from their cancer compared to other cancer patients. It's difficult to say that specifically this cancer benefited or specifically, you know, this pathway was inhibited. Um, what they found was that out of all the cancers that people developed, which were 13 different types of cancer, they were all improved. More work is needed to determine whether statins truly caused the lower risk or whether other factors were in play. It's possible that these drugs are not necessarily fighting the cancer directly, but they're giving the body the ability to survive everything else that patients go through. So in the realm of cancer, it's something to be hopeful about. For Lee Memorial Health System, I'm Amy Osher.